Hi, welcome back to Wonders of Watercolor with Pat Wiles. This is episode three, and today we're going to talk about washes. Washes are the heart and soul of watercolor. Without a good wash, you've got nothing. So we're going to start out with four kinds of washes, and then we'll show you how we use those in a painting. Okay, thank you. Let's get started. The first wash that we're going to learn is the flat wash. And with this one, you're going to have your paper at an angle. You're going to make a stripe all the way across. And the important thing is that it makes this bead across the bottom. Because you're going to go back for the same color. You're going to grab it, catch that bead, and go back across again. Go back for more color, catch that bead, and go across again. A thirsty brush is a brush with no water in it. So what I'm going to do is get all the water out of my brush. And then I'm going to pick up along the edges. And across the bottom, I'll pick that bead up now because I don't need it anymore. Our second wash is going to be the streaky wash. I mean, it's going to be the graded wash. With this wash, you'll start out with a loaded brush of paint. And you'll do that same thing. You'll go across the top with it and let that bead form. But instead of going back for um, paint, you're going to go for pure water. And you're going to catch that bead and bring it on down. Go back, wash that brush out again. Hit it again. Then I want my thirsty brush back because I want to be able to pick this up at the bottom. And here you have your graded wash. The third wash is probably the most fun and that is the streaky wash. And for that I'm going to want my paper to be wet so I'm going to go ahead and spray it here. And make it wet. And then this is a great mood painting color painting wash because you're going to start up in one corner and just let it run. I might add just a touch of color here and let that run down with it and see what we get. Once again, you're going to take your thirsty brush and catch up what's at the bottom here. So, as you can see, that looks like a nice rainy sky, maybe lightning, but great for a moody painting. Now, the last paint, last wash that we're going to do, I'm also going to do wet in wet, and this is the sky, sky clouds. And for this type of wash, I like to do what I call Zorro. And that's the sign of the Z. So I like to zigzag across and down and, and maybe across again. I a little more color. So I'll make it a little darker. But you can see the zigzag. That's really important because clouds aren't contained in a painting. They go off the edges. Now, you can get this same thirsty brush where I'm getting all the water out, and you can pick up some of the top of these clouds to give them that puffy cloud look that we like so much in our clouds. Now, isn't that fun and easy? And you thought this was something that was nigh on to impossible. But it's not. And if I wanted some nice pink on the bottom of my clouds. I could add a little color. And there you have it. Those are clouds. Thank you for watching this video on washes. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and share with your friends so you don't miss any more of these wonderful episodes on the wonders of watercolor with Pat Wiles. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.